Let's see. Analyze the clue. It's a wolf, maybe? Yes, a wolf marked this tree. Okay, I need to be in a tree to do it. I know that. Oh, you could only do it to people. Okay, well that makes sense. Come here, buddy. Alright, so I need to figure out where there are trees and people at the same time. Let's go chat with whoever that is. I'm assuming if there's an interactive chat, there's people around there. Look at this gorgeous waterfalls. Seriously. Sometimes these games just make you want to stop and look. I hear the wolf, but I don't really feel like killing him. We're going to go across the river. Might as well. Thank you for asking. I do appreciate that. But after 20 minutes of trying to do it on my own, <laughs> I wasn't going to figure that part out. I know I've done it once before, but when I did it, it was an accident. So, and I don't remember exactly what I did to do it either, which is not helpful. Let's talk to you. Monsieur Conner, a pleasure as always. What brings you? I wanted to ask you something. Why is this revolution so important to you? Hmm. Since I decided to embark upon this adventure, through all the lords and merchants and soldiers I've spoken to, you are the first to ask me this. Have you ever been to France? I have not. One day, when all of this is over, I will invite you to Paris to stay with me and my family. She is the most beautiful city in all the world, Connor. Full of art and culture, women and wine. But she is sick on the inside. Black and rotting. But here, here is something quite different. On the outside, the colonies are dirty and dangerous, unforgiving and uncivilized. But on the inside, they glow. And that is why I am here, to learn. I want to return home, able to touch France's black heart and make it glow once more. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I could kill that guy, but I don't need to, and I don't have the tree right here. So let's go this way. Maybe I'll do the next mission. Okay, there's bad guys. I'm gonna guess there's no trees anywhere near them. Trees? Of course not. Mm -hmm. Look at this gorgeous place. Okay, I have to go over here for the quest, so we'll do this. Alright, Atham. I'm here. 
We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Okay. Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Well said, Connor. Reach the old growth forest. Why are you stuck? Come on. Horse is stuck. How do I get up there? Do I have to get off the horse? Clearly. Okay. No, oh, I'm not allowed to touch the ground. Okay, hold on. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there then. Okay. Move, buddy. Counts if I'm down there. Uh. Game. Poor game.
getting horses. Excuse me, horsey. should make sure the village is safe. Um, horse, you're not being helpful. Do I have to do all optional stuff too? I believe so. But I'm not sure. Radun Hagedun Zashewe Nekti Ohnu Jera What Ganu Dunyu Hue Dogati Go Oya Lungwe Ayazene Sege. What a beautiful language. De Ohne Gujesh Charles Lee. Luanatuqua, <laughs> Okay. Prevent warriors from attacking. Come on, Connor. Ugh. Connor? Come on, Connor. Okay, now what? Scana, can I dog go? The Dunha gave them the Wasset Donnick. Now hold up. Wagon will have glory near Charles Lee. 
But to the other day, I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I don't want to know what I want to do. I'm going to do something on us, I hear you. Great. He just killed his best friend. Yo, Tena. That is a dance. And she got to hit Stane. Redden Hagedum. Charles Lee. Mountmouth. Was that the hardship? I saw one hot to Marse. Zina hold them but three hot. When I didn't know you were me. Jura saga. I saw one hot set. Oh, Doc, thank you. Come on, there you are. Hey, Jazz, enjoy your lurk. I'm going to get us some more. Oh, dear, the new start. Iwe le ya na wando tayong guayat dano sta dumpe. Ona wasa dressa yung jataro. Pat pat pat. Okay. Is that the end of the sequence or what? Sequence 10. Did I complete it? Yes, full sync. Sweet. That's awesome. Let's see what that puts me up to. It puts me at 82. Okay, so that's all I have to do for this one. Okay, so the Huntsman stuff I have complete. Okay, everybody, Lost in Liberation is completed. These guys are really close to being assassins as well. So let's see if we can't facilitate that. Take the messages. This. Let's go down to the next message. You. You. You guys go get that. Then. Let's do this one. With those two. That I don't have any complete. This, however, is getting really close. I'll send you there. And... You there. Oh. 
How far away is this? Oh jeez, it's all the way down here. I wonder if I should check back at the homestead. And see if there's any missions that are up for there. No, but there is an interactive conversation. Let's go through here. I think it's outside, but we can go through the building. Connor, I'm so glad you're here. The plans I bought, they weren't just a folding chair. Oh, no. They had something else with them. Something quite astonishing. A flying machine designed by Leonardo da Vinci himself. And I built it. Ha! You can be the first to try it if you like. You'll be able to fly. Soar like an eagle. And it works? Da Vinci was one of the greatest minds in human history. As brilliant a man as there has ever been. You can be certain it works. Would you like to try? Yes. Such a device would certainly prove useful. Okay. I don't think it worked. What do you guys think? Hold on, is there another? No. No interactive conversations. So let's... Go... Here. Hold this position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rides away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Okay. Slow 
push these red coats back yet? Not. Well, that was a waste of time. these red coats back yet? That should slow them down. Hold on. I can't hear you. I'm shooting a cannon. Kaboom. We are low on ammunition, sir. And the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. Okay. Back to Monmouth. Um, you were supposed to get on the horse. Connor, get out of the fucking tree.
Come on. Did I get there? Oh my god, I got there with like two seconds to spare. <laughs> well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Hmm. Did I get full sync? Oh my god, I did. Oh, wow. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. Interesting. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This is a bad idea. Okay. Thanks for giving me an actual mission. And all I can do is walk? Goody. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself then, but thanks for the offer. If athletes I'd get athletes' foot, what do elves get? Mistletoes. Then let me through. Subdue this object, please. Glitchy game is glitchy.
her next. Okay. Now what do I do? Go upstairs? supposed to go up this way? I don't think so. I think I'm supposed to go in the elevator. There we go. Fourth floor. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Hey, Connor. No. What do I do? It's not letting me climb anything. This is helpful, guys. What the heck? There's nothing to do there. What do you do when you get to the elevator? <sighs> what? Trigger is short scene. Climb to the upper floors. That, that doesn't help me. I don't know where to climb. What? Okay, I, you guys saw that I tried to climb right there before. Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he?
Okay. That's okay. I do. That helps. This where I go? No. I guess this door over here? Nope. Well, nice try. Next. Um. Why? Do I climb up? Do I go down? This could be so much better. He keeps saying, I know where you're going. Pulling a gun out count as a firing squad? I don't know what you mean. Um, entering a broken window and making a left in the hall. Is there a broken window? Oh, there is. Aha. Give me the apple. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. Hey, fallen in limbo. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. I just hear that again. Move faster. Do it again. Move faster. Get out! Was that? Um. Desmond, you don't have to climb everything. Get out! Get out! Get out! I'm confused. Enough is enough, Mr. Miles. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation, but you responded to my hospitality with only violence. I had hoped we might preserve you and further study your memories. But you are not worth the trouble. Hmm. 
Okay, okay, hold on. I hereby authorize the use of deadly force. Kill the bastard, and then... Hold on. What the hell? Okay. Upper railings, look for him. Okay. Oh, he's look. I did this the hard way. I just figured out how to use the firing line. I don't know if it's gonna count for the other thing, but apparently I figured it out accidentally. I don't know where this guy is. I'm getting nothing from Here he is. Come here, buddy. Found him. Where's Vidic? I'm doing well. I don't think I was supposed to figure out how to do the human Minish shield thing ahead. in this particular part of it, but all right. Excuse you. trying to shoot at me. Mm, hey! Why am I stuck? Stupid chair. Um, I can't go anywhere. Okay, there we go. I'm assuming I follow the trail of 
Dead dudes. Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! should have come here you put everything on the line for what so you could rescue your father yeah oh look we both got a toy to take home So, he Jedi mind tricked all of them. Yeah, pretty much. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Goody. Um. I have no idea where to, to go for these power sources. I guess we go looking around.
have to get over there? Uh, good question. Not this way. helpful. how to go up. That's not it. Not it either. That looked like I could climb it, but I guess I can't. I think I'm doing this the wrong way. Sure. Just hop, skip, and a leap. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, Desmond. Thank you, Smokey. But we could not find a way. But forward. We could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves. And know what was to come. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. 
She called out across time in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Hmm. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Okay. Hmm. to get to where she is. Can I get through here? Nope. Can't go that way either. However, I could go this way. there. Why not? I need to go up somehow. That's not gonna help me. Oh. <laughs> when in doubt, just keep going. going. you know
I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. It just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. <laughs> Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed okay. to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Press any button. Hey Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No. He indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. Mm-hmm. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'll listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. Yeah, we should probably get back to work. Okay. Can I, like, check my email somewhere? I forget where. I know there's somewhere. There we go. Received messages. Oh goodness. Very funny, Sean. Okay, so. Oh, that's helpful. Haytham's blades. Um, I don't know what all this stuff is. Okay, here's the new ones. Who thinks we should buy a few space heaters? Maybe a couple jackets, too. It's cold down here. I sort of figured we powered the place up like it'd turn off. As we powered the place up, it'd turn on its climate control systems or something. Guess not. Maybe the first civvies like it this way? All I know is I don't. So I'd really like for us to pick up some sort of heating solution sometime next time we head out. Please? Absterco is definitely on to us. Most of the power sources I was tracking are gone. Guess they're rushing to snap them up now that they know what we're up to. We got other cells scouting for us, running interference, trying to grab anything they can. It's just hard with our numbers and their resources. Sean's continuing his search for additional power sources. La la la. And then, why do you delay? If you do not retrieve the key in time, all the world will perish, and you with it. Yet you stop to talk, or rest. Rest later. When your work is done, if I seem a 
If I seem aggressive, if my words feel more imperative than a request, it's because I fear that you will not succeed it. Whew. this time, and then we are all doomed. My father has taken me was taken from me by human hands. A war, they called it, for their freedom. They were not even meant to exist. You were not meant to exist. We conjured you, a mistake, an error that cost us the world. My father would sing to me as a child, soft songs of hope and love. His voice forever stilled when your British, brutish ancestors took up axe and club. Later turned our own works against us. We might have known what was to come and averted it had you not dragged us into the war. This is your fault. Um... American politics. There's something I really don't want to look into. What's this? A poem? Your kind. Um, okay. It's a poem. Okay. The ones you named Minerva and Tinia. They called you here, and then they left. Don't you find it odd that they would go through all that terrible and then disappear? There were discs here once. I threw them into the abyss when I still could. I think they were meant for you, filled with lies. You don't need such things. I alone will guide you. You don't trust me. I am the enemy. I bade you kill the traitor, but you hadn't. You would have died, and the world as well. I hate you, but you will save us, so I offer my hand. I will lead you to salvation. Okay, and Dad wants me to forgive him. Okay, so let's mission replay. Mm, no, thanks. Could go back to the Animus. However, I want to see what's through this door we just opened. I'm not mistaken. Hmm. No. How do I get up there? Wait, can I climb this? So I opened something that I can't do anything with. Well, that's obnoxious. If I... Eight here, and you're ready, you but you have to read Vittich the chapter of first. Back? <laughs> I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. Okay, so that's. I think I need these to days to he was next. more a symbol than an asset. How do I get <clears> up there? I'm sorry. I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Okay, I have to get over there. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track Good you back night, here. Men. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. Men you can right? resist. Something you can funny. up the transmission or just about my voice. To move. Apparently, eventually they would have gotten what they needed. But and myself weeks. can calm a friend of ours, dog, once. like, it completely. 
so but that the they can actually get engaged, sleep. It's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Hey. So, um... When this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could... You know... Come home. I'd like nothing more. Okay, is there a way for me to get up there? Right. Well, um, nope, that won't work. Uh, up here? Oh gosh, it's so dark. No idea where to go. Glad you're enjoying it. A new world approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us no. all. <laughs> I'm glad you're relaxing, Smokey. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. Oh, geez. Blah. Um, I guess I continue this way. Can I climb this? No. Um. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, guys. This way? I have the faintest of ideas. Oh wait, I need to get up. Can I climb this thing? Aha. Nope, that's that's not helpful. Go back up. Um can I climb this? No. Whoops. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh my god. I hate doing stuff that I can't see what I'm doing. Really dislike not being able to see. Okay. Do I go this way? there? Not sure how. When in doubt, just try swinging. Okay. This is 
so much fun. Oh god. It's pretty, but it's weird. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered. Were they right to turn away? Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing I continue this way. fun. Okay. Um. Okay. Does this open the door? I just want to get back down. Oh, here we go. What happens if I go over here? We're almost there, son. We'll have plenty of time to talk when this is all over. We should focus on our work now. Okay. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Okay, so all we need is the key, I guess? I'm guessing it's time to get back in the Animus. See if I have any new emails first. Nope. Okay, here we go. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. 
If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation. And through it, peace. Okay, interesting. Connor, he's asking for you. No, no. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. <laughs> Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed, but it does not mean we are safe. But the commander... The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Increíble. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Okay. Um, let's go in here. Um, I did not analyze a clue, but thanks. Okay, so let's go here. Trading. Okay.
do 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 shopping takes forever with any luck finishing that opened up a bunch more side quests however I will have to find out okay so these are all stuff I can make hmm. okay let's go here crafting what am I missing for that? Oh, black powder. Oh, my inventory is full anyway. I think all of these have been crafted, yes. This is crafted, this has not been crafted. I don't know where the special iron ingot is. I'll have to see if I can make one. Let's craft that. Naval convoys. I need bear grease. I need a special iron ingot for that one. And for that one. And that one. Okay. So basically I need it for all of these things. Materials. Alcohol, crafting, that's just clothing I can, clothing I can do, food, medication, make artillery. Doesn't do me any good though. Buckets, crates, furniture, fishing rods. Okay. I definitely need to go hunting for bear grease, but okay, let me go here. I can't do that until I'm outside. Okay. Can I skip all messages? Let's do Massachusetts. Lift the siege. You're going to go by yourself. Send you two for there. That's zero complete. Let's go back to Maryland. Let's 
start the mission. And this is one complete, three complete. Let's see what I can do here. Can I send... I don't know why I can't send you. However, I can do that. I guess he got hurt, maybe? Okay. Alright, let's check the map. Uh, I have a quest here. No homestead quests. I wonder if that chest has popped up in Boston. Let's go find out. Nope, don't see it yet. So I still have to use the rope dart. I have to own every weapon available in the stores. Okay. So, absolutely nothing I can do here. Let's actually go here. It is the middle of the night, so I will not be able to scan anything, which is what I was hoping to do. So. I think that may be a pretty good place to stop. So... Oh, we got people down here, huh? Everybody's in the bar. I'll give the skins to Corinne and she'll make a nice hat. Everybody's just relaxing. Of course. A squid in hat. Yes. Corinne will make the hat and Prudence will know nothing about it. But why would Prudence want a squirrel hat? Okay.
I'm at 97% here. I wonder what I'm missing. I'm at 83% now. That is super cool. And I think those two are completely done, so I will not have to go back to those or any of those except for this one. And that's just because it didn't tell me to do that. Hmm. Okay, well we are very close. Side missions, this is complete. This is super close. Pegleg has a quest that doesn't unlock until I do the end of the story. We're going to go ahead and get out of game, and I am going to get the raid started and all that good stuff. So, let me get out of this game, switch to this. And thank you everybody for hanging out tonight while I got actually quite a lot done. Um, go ahead and copy your raid message. We're going to go see Raindog, who is doing um, souls tonight, I think. Well, we'll find out in a second anyway. Let me get that window up. And I managed to get past the two... Oh, it's Yakuza tonight. Okay, that's cool. And it is almost time for me to get something to eat anyways. So we're going to go watch him race some cars. And you're welcome for his stream. I had a good time tonight. I managed to get past the two missions that I couldn't get past last Monday. So I'm really pleased with my project progress. So, I mean, granted, I still have, what, 17% to go, but we're getting there. We're actually getting really close. And then I get to do Liberation. So, and then Black Flag, which I'm really looking forward to. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. I will be doing Morrowind in the afternoon, provided I can sleep tonight um, and I don't end up with a massive headache tomorrow. So, I'm assuming that I won't, but assumptions are never <laughs> exactly correct. So let me get this raid started, and I will see all of you tomorrow. Everybody take care. Have a wonderful evening. And if I don't see you tomorrow, have a run wonderful rest of the week. So take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye.